Have you looked at Instagram channels that are fully automated and have hundreds of thousands of followers and the reels are going viral? In this video, I'm going to be teaching you on how you can make all of those type of channels with just three simple steps. And we are going to be using two tools only. The first one, Quick Reel and N810. In this video, we are going to be making an N810 automation that will entirely automate the process by taking care of the production and the publishing side of it, right? It's that easy. So let's just dive right in. So here is the N810 workflow that we are going to be using. It's a simple workflow that will take Instagram videos and will edit them further and then re-upload them onto Instagram. So they are unique in some sense, right? They don't have the same editing effects. They have different sound effects, background music and subtitles and everything. So this is how you can automate and run multiple different accounts that can gain a lot of views easily. The entire process is very simple. Let's get started. For this, I have this profile that is Hush. He's the founder of OK Credit and he does these kind of posts right where he just stands up and talks about thing about himself about related to his life or related to his startup which is like very unedited right i think we can do much better than this right so what we are going to be doing is we are going to be taking these videos editing them with the quick reel api he added so no human involvement is there right it's all automated and then we are going to be making a channel such as this so we are going to be transforming this into these kind of videos which are more edited in terms of subtitles background music sound effect b-rolls and even transitions right so let's play an example right startup stay low because who is simple sa test pass the intensity and frequency test intensity ka matlab ki tum customer ki kitni badi problem solve par एंड फ्रीक्वेंसी का मतलब कि वो प्रॉब्लम उसे कितनी बार परेशान कर तो तुम एक मैसेज बिजनेस तभी बना सकते हो जब प्रॉब्लम सो यू कैन सी दिस मोटिवेशनल टाइप ऑफ वीडियो व्हिच वाज अनएडिटेड बाय हर्श हिमसेल्फ राइट नाउ इज वेरी मच एडिटेड विद लाइक द मोस्ट ट्रेंडी स्टाइल पॉसिबल विद गुड सबटाइटल स्टाइल बैकग्राउंड म्यूजिक एंड एवरीथिंग राइट और एआई जनरेटेड बाय क्विक रिल इटसेल्फ राइट सो हियर इज द ओरिजिनल वीडियो इफ यू कैन सी दिस इज वेरी लेस एडिटेड नथिंग इज देयर क्टिटी for an Instagram scraper that we are going to be using Appify is a website where you can find different type of scrapers for different websites so you can get all of the data back to you right so let's log on to the console and get our API once you are in the dashboard you would see ki hey this is the Instagram reel scraper that we are going to be using it takes an Instagram ID you can set how many reels we want in it and just use it right to use it is very simple right if you go on to the API section and see the API endpoints and client you will see the endpoint that you want to test to or you want to get the data from is that easy right you go back to n10 workflow set it up you put the url like this run sing get data set items remember that and then you put the authentication as none you again in the query parameter pass your token that is your api key for ap5 and in the body you keep it raw and applic content type as application json in this we are going to be just getting back one reel and we are going to be passing the username as harsh pokhran right so this is it how do you run it you just click on execute step and this is going to work and we are going to be seeing a result right here so it's going to go to instagram that id and get the details of that particular last reel back to us let's see how this goes so here we have the data back as you can see it has the input url id type captions etc etc right so we are only interested in input url again since the url written by the ap5 website is not fully downloadable just with a click right so we are going to be changing the url so it can be downloadable again how we are going to be using this is a simple code node we are iterating through all of the return items that is in this case we got one reel out you can get 30 hundreds of reel back right iterate or go through them one by one and get them to run right is that easy so in this loop we are updating the input url as the instagram.com/reel/shortcode what is a shortcode each reel you get a shortcode which is basically the id of that reel right once that is done we just update the items back and then yeah we are done let's execute it and see so here in the left side you see input url as just the id 
In the right side, you see that the input URL has been changed to instagram.com slash read slash the short code. Awesome. What's there? What we are going to do? We have to download the URL now. So for downloading the URL, we are going to be using quick reel everything downloader, which you can use to download any sort of video from the web. This is again an HTTP node with a post request. This is the endpoint that we are hitting. You can use your API key right that you get once you sign up. Again, choose the JSON and fields below. We just have to pass two parameters. The first one is the video URL, which is again the Instagram real URL that we just made, including the short code and the webhook URL. So the webhook URL is a URL on which you will receive all of the data once the video is downloaded, right? So right now we are setting up a new webhook node, which is this one. It's a simple one, right? You can just type webhook and you can just add the node. You will get this test URL that you can copy and Again, in the everything downloader, you can update it and boom. So this is where we'll receive all the data once the video is downloaded. Let's execute it. It's done. We got the response back. I'll run the webhook. Once the webhook is running, you will see we already received the item back again. So what did we receive? We received all of this, which is I don't think usable for you. But here in the outputs, you will see we got an ID and we got a video URL. This video URL, if we play it right now, is the Instagram video that we just downloaded. 2020, I As you saw, we got the Instagram reel back. That's cool. So the next step is again an HTTP node, which does a post call back. So right now what we're using, we are using AI edit. Let me tell you what AI edit actually does. So AI edit is a feature of quick reel, which basically turns your raw and unedited boring videos into highly edited and professional videos, which includes B-roll, sound effect, transition, animation, subtitles, and overlays. Here we see some of the examples right here, right? This is the type of video that we're going to be getting as an output. Awesome. So how do you use it? It's simple. You go onto the docs.quickreel.io, onto the AI edit and the request. You will see how you can do the request. For this, we can just use the curl. It's that easy. You can just copy it and import directly onto your node. But we already have set it up there. So let's go back. Here you can see under the we pass in our API key as this. Remember, pass in your API key as headers for quick reel. So the body type is raw. The content type is application JSON. In the body section, we have this. What we are doing is passing the video URL. Again, this is hard coded. Let me just uh, transform this back, right? From the input, we got the video URL right here. Let's just remove this one and add the other one. We have this. Again, the language, you can set it up because this is in English, Hindi plus English. So I've set it up. And then again, a webhook URL, which is the third one that we are setting up where we will receive everything, right? This is the webhook URL. You set up another node, you copy the test URL and you just put it right there. So once there, you have to choose your template. For this, I'm going to be choosing the storyteller. I'm choosing the B-roll frequency as medium, B-roll type as both, both means it is AI images, cinematic B-rolls as well, right? And the title, I can pass in any title for the title, I'm just passing the ID, right? You don't have to, but I'm just for the sake of it, right? In the additional features, I'm not adding the background music as it is already edited in the raw video. I'm removing all the filler words and I'm also removing all the silence parts. That is all the awkward silences in the video. It will be removed and all the ums and ahs will be removed by the remove filler words option, right? So once that is done in the additional settings, there's a lot more depth you can go into, right? I'm just keeping it true. So yeah, I think this is cool. And I can click on execute step and boom, it is done. It returns a 200 back with a message that project is created successfully. And I have the project ID as well. Now. I'll just run the last step that is it will receive the AI edit, right? By the way, and this takes a bit of time that is two to five minutes, right? And here you can include an API request to directly post it onto your Instagram channel, right? If you're waiting for it, you can also go onto the dashboard of your quick reel account. Once you log in, you will see that the your video is already here that is in the processing. If we see this is again an API project of AI edit that is undergoing the editing, right? You can just wait for it to complete here. I'll just show you some of the more examples that I already did. I'll just go on my all projects, click on AI edit. It was again the same one. And here the video is, this was a test one. And what you can do exactly is like, you can click on the schedule post and you can also connect your Instagram account through here. That is what the advantage quick reel gives you. And you can also regenerate the caption according to you, right? A longer version, shorter version or tags as well, right? You can do all of this. And the most important part, if you don't like something about the AI edit, 
can obviously change everything through here right so the features the background music you can manipulate and change anything according to yourself right you can change the ai edit versions you can change the b rolls you can change additional settings as well right so once the video is done you can obviously publish them onto your instagram page like this right so this is mine and you see i've already posted two videos let me show you the second one as well जब मुझे पता चला की एक एक्सपीरियंस फाउंडर्स की टीम हमारे जैसे सेम प्रोडक्ट में काम कर रही है तो मेरी फट गई और मैंने अपना प्रोडक्ट छोड़कर उनकी टीम ज्वाइन कर ली so you saw this type of b rolls and everything that is very relevant to the video can be edited right awesome so this is the type of video that you will get out of the quickly api response right let's play this and see how this looks right 2020 mein maine ek company mein invest kiya tha 20 crore fund raise aur 5 saal tak grow karne ke baad pichle saal wo band ho gayi jaise swiggy zomato restaurants ko delivery boys dete hain waise hi connected edge diagnostic labs ko collection agent deta tha ब्लड सैंपल्स कलेक्ट करने के लिए सही प्रॉब्लम होने के बाद भी वो बंद क्यों बेसिकली ब्लड कलेक्शन फ्रॉम होम जितना सोचा था उतना बड़ा मार्केट नहीं है और ऑलमोस्ट हर लैब के पास कोई बंदा होता है जो सैंपल्स कलेक्ट करने के साथ और भी एक्स्ट्रा काम कर देता है तो उन्हें कनेक्टेड एज की जरूरत सिर्फ तब होती थी जब डिमांड आई और वो रेयरली होता है इससे उनका मार्केट और छोटा हो गया एंड अनसस्टेनेबल हो गया मैंने जिन 36 स्टार्टअप्स में इन्वेस्ट किया है उनमें से आठ बंद हो चुके हैं उनकी स्टोरीज समझना कैन बी अ मास्टर क्लास इन स्टार्टअप्स। तो अगर बाकी सात स्टोरीज भी समझना चाहते हो तो कमेंट्स में बताओ Awesome. So this was an interesting one, right? And the edits and the B-rolls are on the point and look amazing. So awesome. And we also get the AI caption and tags for it, right? What you can do from here on is just click on the schedule button. Just click on whatever account you want to publish this on, right? Let's see. And right now, I want to publish it now. You can schedule it to a later date and click on publish. And boom, this is that easy. Awesome. So this is published now, and we can see it on Instagram, right? I just click on it, and boom, here we have a new post ready. And this is what you can use to run multiple different channels, right? I have given the links to all of the workflows and everything down in the description below, and the steps that you can use to automate the entire thing. Let me know if you are facing any problems in the comments down below. I try to help you out. Don't forget to subscribe this channel for a weekly edit and automation video that you can use to automate your entire content workflows. Awesome. Bye.